Hello, welcome to my first video tutorial. My name is Crystal. I make gemstone jewelry and uh, also do hair pieces, oftentimes incorporating gemstones as well. Um, the hair pieces have gotten a really good response, but I find that sometimes people aren't, aren't sure of all the ways to really maximize um, the versatility of them. So I wanted to give a little crash session of um, all the different ways to wear the different pieces, the sizes, the materials, the designs, just a little bit of a guide that will help you get a little more comfortable with it. Uh, so today I'm talking about the snappers. That's this guy right here. I know it looks like the bret you wore when you were in kindergarten, right? Um, I like the snappers because they're very durable, uh, but they're really versatile with lots of different hair types. Uh, they've got a really solid grip, so even when you have the windows down in the car, you don't have to worry about your hair just flying out everywhere. It, it's, it's got a really, really solid grip. So, anything on the website that says uh, snappers, it's going to be this guy right here. Now, the first design I want to show you is this one. This is called Heaven. It is layers of silk organza and features a slate gray metallic button. Now, this piece is probably about three and a half or four inches. Um, I am going to just uh, grab some of the bangs that I've been trying to grow out recently. And I'm going to plop this baby pretty, pretty high up on my head. I'm going to fix any strays I got going on. Poof the front if need be. And as you can see, it just wears really well up high on the crown but off to the side. Uh, now the only rule of thumb for pretty much all of these pieces is to keep things on an angle. Uh, you think of the, the old school um, glamorous ladies from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Everybody really knew how to rock a nice hair piece or a pillbox hat and people always kept things on an angle. It has a very polished, vintage, chic uh, feel and that's kind of what we're going for here. So. The next piece I'm going to show you is the Dahlia right here. Very sweet. It's layers of silk moray, tulle, and Amy Butler cotton fabric. Uh, it features a freshwater pearl gemstone as the center focal. Um, now, this is about three inches, and because of the size and because of the design, I am going to put this one really close to my face. I'm going to pat down the petals, and I really just want to uh, maybe I got a new eyeshadow and I really just want to bring some attention to my eyes a little bit so I'm gonna put this right here so everybody can see it now the next piece is this one right here this is a seafoam green tool um, with the Amy Butler cotton fabric and again a button now this is probably about five inches in diameter um, and so I'm going to grab those bangs again, and I'm just going to go about halfway back on my head and snap it into place. Now, I know you think five inches, wow, that sounds scary and big, but as you can see, the tool really diffuses the bulkiness factor, and so it comes across as really clean and quirky and cool uh, without being frumpy at all. So, that's a good way to wear that one. Now the next piece I'm going to show you is a little bulkier. Uh, this is the Copacabana. Um, it is layers of charmeuse and it has a little bit of a tulle focal in the center. Now, I think, personally, the petaled pieces, example here, do really, really well further down on the head because I think they're so fun to showcase. So I would probably do this so that everyone can see how much color I've got going on here. Now another way to wear this particular design that I've seen people do, which is extremely fun, is to tuck it back behind your ear and suddenly you are an island goddess. <laughs> um, so the final piece I'm going to show you today is this guy. This is seven and a half or eight inches of tool bliss, basically. It is slate, gate, slate gray tool, a seafoam green tool, peacock green feathers, and another button. Um, this one you want to almost think of as a hat. That's what my husband says at least. So I'm gonna grab my bangs, 
closet my hat. Um, and I am going to make sure it's at least halfway back on my head. And I'm just going to pop it into place. And as you can see, again, uh, the, col the, the size, the number of inches sounds daunting. But as you can see, it wears really well, really clean and smooth and close to the head. Uh, so be sure with a piece like this to play with the the placement of the feathers. Maybe you want the feathers to come over the top here, or close to your face, or whatever. So, um, one final note, and that is with the patterns. Don't be afraid with the patterns to mix patterns, to mix crazy colors together. Um, I wear polka dots and this one specifically with stripes all the time because I just think it it's so funky and fun. Uh, and that's kind of the point of these pieces is to add a little a little zest to your wardrobe without spending a ton of money, uh, but it just shows off a little bit of character and they're meant to be fun and uh, a little off color. So I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial and I look forward to um, seeing the way that you rock your hair pieces on the Facebook wall. Thanks!